One of the greatest errors of the hidden curriculum is that schools teach English as an academic subject. In school you study English, you learn about English, you analyze the parts of the language like a grammar, vocabulary, and etc. You take tests about this knowledge. But the problem is that English is not a subject to be studied. English is a skill to, to be performed or played, we can say. Speaking is something that you do, not something that you analyze and you think about. But perhaps you can see, you, you see the problem, you know, like real English conversation, I've said it many times, are fast, they are unpredictable, the other person speaks quickly and you never know exactly what they will say. So you must be able to listen, understand, respond almost instantly. There simply is no time to think about the grammar or translation or anything else that you learned in English classes. So English conversation is more like playing soccer, like football. A soccer player must act and react almost instantly. The player must play you know, the game intuitively. Soccer players do not study physics formulas in order to play well. They learn by doing. They play soccer, they don't study it. That's why studying grammar rules to speak English is much like a soccer player studying physics to play soccer, you know. It might be interesting, but it certainly won't help performance. So your job, therefore, is to stop studying this. Stop studying English and start playing it. Remember that we're talking about the psychology fuel is an important part, perhaps the most important part, I can say, of your English study. So learning to play English rather than study it, you know, is, is a powerful way to develop strong psychology and go much faster, I can say, on the road to fluence. When we first discussed fuel, you remember, like, we learned how to use our bodies to change our emotions. And it turns, it turns out that the body, in fact, is a very important key to learning English. By using your physical actions, you know, while learning, it's possible to learn faster, remember more, remember longer and speak better. Dr. James Usher, the psychologist and the professor emeritus at the San Jose State University, he found out that using physical actions in language class actually helps students to learn vocabulary better. Dr. Asher became curious about the link between the language and the movement after watching, you know, like how young children learn to speak. And he noticed that when parents say something, their children typically would respond with a word and some sort of action. He also noticed that the parents frequently used actions and gestures, you know, like while speaking to their babies. So based on his research and the observations, Usher developed the TPR, Total Physical Response System of Language Teaching, in which the students respond to their teacher's commands in, 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 in the new language with, with, with the whole body actions. And these actions strengthen the meaning of the phrase. And it makes it easier to remember. And Dr. Asher believes that the students can learn 12 to 40 uh, words uh, in an hour, you know, just using this method. And I have the similar success using a version of it in my uh, seminars and lessons. And of course, so this is a complete opposite of what happens in most English classes. In school, in private language centers, you are told to sit still in your chair. You sit for an hour or more. And naturally, the longer you sit, the more your energy drops. As your energy drops, your concentration drops too. And as your concentration drops, you learn less and you forget, you forget more. And of course, the uh, lower energy, you know, like frequently leads to feelings of boredom because there's less movement, less energy, lower concentration, boredom, naturally produce worse result, no matter what the method is. And we have uh, like another downward spiral here. While everyone benefits from physical learning, some people you know, absolutely need it. These people are called uh, kinesthetic learners. They learn best when they connect learning to physical movement. And this kind of learner tends to kind of struggle in traditional classrooms where they are required to sit motionless you know, for hours. Schools, teachers, they often label these people as a, you know, like learning disabled or having an attention deficit disorder. But the problem, however, is not that the kinesthetic learners are disabled. Rather, the problem is that teaching disability, the failure of schools to teach 
active learners in an effective way. So remember, like the English is a performance skill, not a subject you study. The more you use your body while learning, the more success you will achieve. And why, one way to use this movement, you know, while learning English, is to use action vocabulary method. In this method, you, 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 you connect your unique physical movement to a new vocabulary word. You shout the word or phrase, you perform the movement, and the movement should remind you of the uh, meaning of the word. So by doing this repeatedly, so what, what happens, you, you, you connect the word, its meaning, and its unique physical action. And this combination creates a stronger and deeper memory, resulting in faster and deeper vocabulary learning. So this is far more effective, I think, than simply trying to memorize a long list of, you know, like individual random words. And as a simple way, we can use, you can use your bodies. Just walk while learning English. With a smartphone, so you can make your learning mobile. Instead of sitting on your butt, slowly losing energy, put on your headphones and go for a walk while listening to English. As you walk, your heart will just pump and, and your brain will get more blood. And you will feel more energy. And thus you will concentrate better. You will probably enjoy learning more too. So there is no reason to be limited by the old school methods. You don't need to sit motionless, as I said, in a chair while learning. You don't need to remain silent. You don't need to be bored or tired. As an independent learner, you are free to learn in the way that is most effective and most enjoyable for you. You are the master of your own learning. Enjoy. It.